Country Viewpoint here on Flow FM. And earlier today, I caught up with the member for Flinders, Peter Trelaw, who's back on his home patch, my old hometown of Port Lincoln today, uh, getting around the Air Peninsula this week. A big week it was at North Terrace last week. Peter was a big part of uh, the abortion bill debate. The termination of pregnancy bill got through with significant amendments. Peter sat in the chair. In fact, the Speaker's chair for some of those amendments as they were being discussed. But I asked Peter about uh, the long week that was and uh, a little bit more about uh, what he thought of that bill. So just to explain the process a, a little bit, this this was actually a private member's bill. It was entitled the Termination of Pregnancy Bill. Uh, in South Australia, we've, we've not changed our uh, abortion laws since 1969 and there was a real uh, push to have abortion taken out of the criminal code and, and put in under health. Uh, and that certainly everybody agreed with that uh, sentiment. So that was a big part of what we were trying to do. It was a private member's bill, which means it's not introduced by the government, but but a private member it was introduced into the upper house, our legislative council, and was debated there late last year, uh, getting through uh, the legislative council, and and it comes from there down to the House of Assembly, the lower house, where I sit. Uh, and of course, it's 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 a moral issue essentially. Uh, so it's a conscience vote. The votes aren't taken along party lines. Each and every member has the opportunity to vote as they see fit. Uh, but as a result of all that, the bill came to us, and what we saw in the lower house were many amendments put. Many many amendments. I lost track. I think there was probably eighteen or so mm. amendments through the course of the debate. Uh, and of course, some were successful and some weren't. But in all of that, my, my my key job during parliamentary sitting weeks is to chair the committee stage of the bill. So we had a, a one night. I think Wednesday night was a midnight sitting, and and uh, Thursday night was after two a.m. Now people might wonder, you know, how good legislation can be made at that hour of the morning, but. The reality is we wanted to get it through, we needed to get it through and, and ultimately did in a slightly amended form but we now have a, a new bill relating to the termination of pregnancy in South Australia. A couple of questions on it. We saw two rallies in Adelaide in back-to-back weeks and I wanted to make this point too. So one of those rallies, and, and I hate to, to categorise it, is a group called Love Adelaide which I guess is pro-life uh, if you want to put it in those terms. And they marched um, the week before, I, I believe, uh, the the pro-choice rally, uh, which was held on the steps of Parliament House. Now, did you catch either of those two rallies, Peter? Did you get informed as to the numbers that turned out for both? Yes, absolutely. And we, we received any amount of correspondence, of course, yeah. uh, in our office. And, and we were well aware that there were, there were people positioning themselves on the steps of Parliament House uh, each and every day of the debate, both, both for and against. And we even had quite a gathering in the public gallery, which is fine. Um, it's 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 good to see people taking interest in it. So, look, ultimately, it, it, uh, the bill passed in a form where late term abortion is possible, but there are really strict parameters around it. Uh, the health and well being of the mother needs to be a consideration, uh, uh, and the health and the well being of a fetus needs to be a consideration as well and it needs to be acknowledged and verified by two general practi- practitioners. So it, it really is uh, a practical bill but very constrained in what it's able to do. Termination of pregnancy bill in South Australia as according to the member for Flinders, Peter Trelaw, and there's more with Peter in the next hour where we talk about Peter's possible successor in the seat of Flinders, Sam Telfer, who's been pre-selected by the Liberals for that seat with Peter Trelaw retiring at the end of this term. It is Country Viewpoint here on Flow FM. We'll have that for you in the next hour.